What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? We are back again with another I Love a Mama's Boy video, and this one is episode four. Yes, of season three. But before we get into it, let's start off by giving a big massive shout out to every single person that is a member of the channel, every single person that is a member of Patreon, and every single person that is a subscriber as we continue to grow. Now, with that being said, let's get into this week's episode. Yeah. Since their Valentine's date, I've been thinking about where I fit in with Trey and Lorinda. And I do feel like they leave me out of a lot of things that they do. Princess! Hello. Today, I am meeting Lorinda at my mom's tea shop because I bought her birthday present, so I need to give that to her. We're getting your cup ready. ready. Are you signing for your tea today? Of course. No. Okay. Okay. energy. Oh, my goodness. Oh. Already dancing. Hey, hi, girl. Hey, hey, hey. Anna B. Oh. I always get Lorinda a birthday present because that's Trey's mom, and that is my child's grandmother. Yeah, I have you a birthday sure. present. What is it? And I wasn't invited to the birthday dinner, so... Here you go. Well, honey, you gotta take that over tray because I did not say she can't cook. I can relate to Abby how she feels, and but no, I wouldn't just tell her straight to her face, no, that she wasn't um invited. Well, that's interesting, very interesting, because in the last episode, not the last one, but the last one these that they were in, I remember her specifically asking her man, "Can she come to the Valentine's date X Y Z?" Because valentine's is the same day as his mother's birthday you see but he's never taken out his woman for valentine's day because he always spends it with his mother and she said to him why don't we do why don't we all spend it together and he chickened out in terms of proposing it to her son you know so, so and then her son chickened out in terms of proposing the idea to his mother so the mother is right to a certain degree that she never necessarily said no but when they got back home and well <laughs> when the son asked well when she asked her husband or well, boyfriend like where is where was my invitation? You didn't even get back to him to let me know what your mom said. He was like, well, it's, you know, it's, it's, it's a special occasion. Mom. And then the mom obviously stepped in and said, listen, obviously that day is my day. So he's always going to spend that day with me. So again, she didn't necessarily say no, but she basically implied that Valentine's Day will always be my birthday day and never be your actual Valentine's Day. But of course, there's clearly a problem in translation. It is clearly a problem in communication, which is why we're here with this situation where, you know, the mom's trying to pretend as if she never said no because, well, she didn't because she wasn't asked. But then in conversation, she made it abundantly clear that she wouldn't want her to come anyway and that her son should always pride as her birthday over Valentine's Day with his woman. It's all confusing, it's all a mess, I know, but let's continue. Don't say that it's bad. It's good. Yeah. Okay, open her gift. Mm -hmm. What? I'm like, what is this? I'm old man. What, what, what is this? It's shoes? not low. It's not? No. I thought maybe you would have me something fitting. It'll be cute. Thank you, Abby. You're welcome. So, I thought that we could talk today. I appreciate everything that you do, but me and Trey are trying to work on having more one on one time. Here at the house a whole lot what do you think about like not coming over as much i, I mean I, 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 i'm just honey okay it was just like uh a, you know like a stab to me you know because i'm always i'm just there i'm not gonna think about that i mean unless you tell me that you're gonna take care of things i mean i will take you know, care are you gonna get up in the morning and fix this breakfast and get i don't think that it's going necessary to wake up that early to get things done. I mean, we don't have to clean the house at 4.30 in the morning. Well, I'm not, okay. Well, why do y'all leave stuff out everywhere? Because it That's doesn't bother I... us. Me and Trey are really laid back. You know, like, we don't have to have the laundry done as soon as we wake up in the morning. And a lot of times after we cook, we will leave dishes in the sink, but Lorinda cannot stand that. I mean, don't you just want to, like, stay at your house? the way she fully just stood up taste herself and then sat back down <laughs> so freaking extra but the fact is this though just because you don't like the way your son and his, his woman is living that's not a you problem they've got to learn to live the way they live and to clean up after themselves but the matter of the fact is the son is in particular he's obviously living that that because he's never had a clean up because mama has always done the cleaning for him anyway so that's right off the bat that's already his excuse 
Now his woman needs to learn. Is is now his woman is it's clearly not being able to learn the fact that it's not the fact that they both love be laid back. It's just that her partner will never do any cleaning up purely because his mom's always there for him. So he's not laid back. He just he's never given that responsibility. But she wouldn't know that because the mum's always coming in and doing all those things for them. So to be honest, the mum needs to step back and she needs to allow his partner to recognise that, well, maybe he is a slob. But again, him being a slob wouldn't be down to him. It would be down to his mother always doing things for him. And of course, I can imagine that the woman, the, the, the girl would obviously clean up after a certain amount of time because not everybody wakes up to a spot place. I mean, for me, myself in particular, to be honest with you, I do do all the dishes before I go to bed. I'm not going to lie to you, you know what I'm saying? I did, do them, I did do them whilst I'm cooking as well, to be fair. But that's because I don't want to do them later on. So I prefer to do it as I'm going on. But that's just a preference to me. Obviously, for some people, they like to leave it and then they'll come back to it later on. Which is fine. As long as the house stays clean, it's all good in the hood. But hey, again, her wife is never going to learn that if mummy over here is always intervening. Because her son is a mama's boy. Or should I say a mama's B-I-C-T-H? I don't want to get in the middle of a confrontation with her. I I love my grandson and hey, she might run with him. In order to really step back, hey, I got to see you that you, you all in us. But I'm not trying to tell you to be me. I just want you to make sure your house is taken care of. My house will always and be taken care of. I don't know if she got the gift for me to sweeten me up, to let me know in, in a certain kind of way. I need you to back off. Mm. All right. Thank you, girl. Oh. oh, you can't give me a hug? I think when she asked me to back off, I think it should have came from my that to me. Oh, Lord. Thank you, girl. You, you're not allowed to decorate. I know you like modern and all that stuff like that, but, you know, like, you know, antique is the way to go. This it's is like, not the way it has go. value. It has a history. Since our little talk in our apartment with my mom and I and Emily, things have been looking really, really great. It feels good to be back on track. You know, Emily's happy. I'm happy. This is indeed the spot. Today, I'm taking Emily to this antique store because I want to spice up our little apartment home. Especially when my mom comes over again. You know, she wants to see more beautiful sculptures, statues, and stuff like that. Hi, there. Hi. Welcome in. Wow, that's a lot of stuff here. <laughs> and then we need more lamps in our place anyway. Look at all the lamps you can possibly imagine. Well, yeah, this is cute, actually. I like this. This could be a bell to train you. Hey, train yourself. Like, you if like, you're a good boy? What are you talking about? I've been feeling a little guilty about this situation with Ustra, and mainly because it's something I haven't told Emily about. So I'm kind of nervous about just telling her, like, hey, I went on a lunch with a girl that my mom knows, that my mom actually loves. I'm not sure how she's going to take it. I'm not gonna lie to you, this, 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 this guy is irritating. Is he being for real right now? Like, really? This is what you're gonna... Okay, well, this should be good. And given the fact that his mum and his woman legit finally got on a similar page or some sort of respectful ground in the last episode, he's not looking to mess it up by going and by bringing, on, bringing her out to meet the girl that he literally had a date with in secret, that his mum prefers. And who's also into him as well. You couldn't write this. No oh, goodness gracious me. Someone that you probably might like. Who? A friend of my mom's. She's pretty, uh, pretty cool. You know, she? She's one of my mom's friends and you know, actually had lunch with her. Yeah, you sort of like the same age as me. You know, she's kind of like the same, same culture. So she's your mom's friend. She's my mom's friend. I'm thinking friend. like someone in their, between like 40s and 60s. No, her, her mom is cool my mom. Uh, she's from Egypt. You know, she's a power lifter. I mean, so you pretty much went on a date. No, I go on a date. Date's totally different. Date's when, like, you pay for the meal and, you know, you're having a great time. It was not, nothing like that. I mean, she's cool as hell. You went on a date it's not with a, date. a female. It's not a date. What do you call that? Just a favor. My mom just insisted me just talk to this person. Not like that. Just like, hey, go meet my friend. Um, I don't trust Layla. I feel, like, really betrayed and heartbroken. Just because she already came over to our apartment and I thought she was going to really accept our... Absolutely not. It's just, you know, it's a little favor from my mom. Layla has done this to me before. She said she keep up on a blind date. Hello. I would like to introduce Wajma John. I told you what it is, Afghani girl. She's just evil. I mean, what did you guys even talk about? Life, Egypt, relationships and all that stuff. Why would you talk you? about our relationship? It's not like that. Why would you keep discuss our relationship with another woman? I mean, I feel like she's taking it all in to see how she can ruin our relationship. How many times have you talked to her? And how many times have you gone on a date with her? I only went up to go meet her once, that's it. It was nothing like that. You know, me and her have a lot in common. You know, kind of have the same personality as me. Loves my mom, you know, and we both worked out. You know, maybe we could go to the gym together, me and her. What? No. I, I, I can't even believe you're going on a second date with this person. It's not a date. It's, it's not a, a, it's a gym going date. Going to the, the, the gym date? There's... This guy. 
He, he needs one of those backhands. I'm not gonna lie to you. I condone no violence, but he needs a backhand. <laughs> this guy. But anyway, before we continue with this absolute madness of a shambolic situation, because this guy is a complete clown, let me remind you, ladies and gentlemen, if you'd like to become a member of the channel so you can get early access to content, the link is down below in the description. But hey, let's continue. You know, maybe you heard like me. This is weird. It's not weird at all. Maybe this will be a benefit for you. Huh? You know, she knows how, how my mom is like, what she wants, how to act, how to dress, all that stuff. You and her get together, have some coffee. Maybe she could share some insights on how to be with my mom. Yeah. You throughout, like, who is this woman? Who is this mysterious woman that Shakib is also getting close with? Honestly, if Yusra is capable of going on a lunch date with Shakib, then she's definitely out to get him. Your mom is behind all this. That's what Layla does. She's a sneaky little snake. <laughs> sneaky little snake. She's a queen. I wonder if he's ever called his girl a queen. Probably not. Hmm. Tonight's a big night. It's gonna be Brittany's first time sleeping over. I'm a little nervous. It's been a while, and I really want it to go well. I have some snacks for us, I have the wine, I went and got roses. I have the fire pit already set up in the back, so everything's ready when she gets there. Hi. Hi. Oh. Oh, my favorite. Thank you. Hi, Mom. Hello. What's going on? Oh. What are you so, doing here? Well, yeah, what's this? What about she brought beauty in the <laughs> I love this. With Matt and I, there's no relationship without my approval. And I don't know if I, I don't know. I, I'm torn. I want to help you, but I don't want to lose you either. Oh my God. All right, a little magic inside here. CDs? Yes, mood music. And last but not least, I want you to be safe. Condoms. And I can't believe she's doing this right now. Thank you. I want Take care I want grandchildren, but I'd rather have a wedding first. He's a great catch, so you know, Brittany's in for a treat. You deserve to be happy. You do. Thanks. Alright, listen, listen, there's nothing wrong with building up your, your your kids' confidence, making them believe that they are the bees and knees and all that kind of stuff, you know what I'm saying? Because to be honest with you, I've got a friend to be fair of you, you know what I mean, who's fully convinced that like, you know, she's a freaking catch no matter what, because that's how she was raised, you know what I'm saying? Whether or not that's true or not, who knows? <laughs> Just kidding, you know what I mean? End of the day, it's always a good thing. It's always a good thing if um you got a parent that always tells you that you are, you know, this and that, and you should also build that confidence. But at the same time though, there's a fine line between your parents helping you help help build your confidence to having a parent that is legit controlling who you are and how you are and everything around you. That is, that's it. And the fact is with this woman here, so in particular, Emily, she's all about fully controlling every single narrative around her son's life. And you know what? It's getting on my nerves. It's been getting on my nerves and it's becoming more and more pathetic. But nonetheless though, we continue. Hmm. Oh, she's here. Okay, hey, you gotta go. Go, go, bye, 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 bye. Can I take this with me? Brittany's coming over for a sleepover. We're gonna so, do our little thing. I have a plan. I want to observe her. When can I Which observe? Which is a fancy word for Jenny. <laughs> Here, just quickly go on that. I, one. I that already way. feel isolated. You're not isolated, Mom. All right, bye. Thank you. Love you. Bye. Oh, hi. Hi. How you doing? Good. About wine. Oh, what kind of wine do you have? It is Cabernet Sauvignon. How do you say it? I'm drinking oil. Sauvignon. Sauvignon. Brittany. It's like five dollars. Brittany. Oh, wow, you look great. I thought you went home. No. Oh, what'd you get? Um, yeah. Oh, All right. Perfect. So, All right. you guys have a good time. Whatever you're going to do, I'm just a holler away. Thanks, Mom. It's about 72 steps, Brittany. Thank you, Mom. Okay. 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 See you later. Bye, Mom. Bye. Bye. Yeah, you're a straight mouth. Please stop. He's a mama's boy. Imagine your parents, your mother or father conducting your sexual life. Just imagine that. I mean, honestly, you know what? I've got to give, I've got to give, give, give Brittany credit. She's willing to go through the trials and tribulations with his mother. And to be honest with you, as much as I give her credit, she's a freaking idiot. There's so many other men out that you can go for that you wouldn't even have to go through these obstacles. But I guess just like the mum said, Matt must be one hell of a catch. Also, at the same time, though, ladies and gentlemen, before I forget, 
Remember, you have got the option to also become a member of Patreon, and the link is down below, down below in the description where we cover a range of other shows such as um, Teen Mum UK and Married at First Sight, you know what I mean, okay? And of course, unrestricted content around other things that we do cover on YouTube as well. But anyway, with that being said, let's continue. I'm upset. Usually, when Ethan makes these comments, Matthew had Brittany over. Hey, sure, my mom's basically doing the whole wedding. Really, all we're in charge of the wedding is the um, rehearsal dinner. So it's a little um, more on us of finding a venue. This would be so perfect. How dope is it that we found this? Because this is so the happy. only thing that we are allowed to do. I'm a little nervous because Esther's going to show up. And this is like the one thing she put us in charge of. Even though she lets us do the rehearsal dinner space, she still has to approve it. But it's prime location. We couldn't ask for a better spot. I think she'll like this, but I hope so. <laughs> our wedding weekend is a Ohio State game the day before a wedding. So I did want the rehearsal dinner to be more casual. So that's why we have to find a happy medium between, you know, a rehearsal dinner and a tailgate. How many people are you expecting? So I would say at least 75. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So I, I was not expecting that. Yeah. It might be a little tight, but you could, I mean, you can fit them in, especially if you have people coming and going. Yeah. It's really all way out of towners, like my New Yorkers. Mm -hmm. So I say 75, like coming and going, never like once exactly yeah. the time, I think. Oh. Oh. So we can bring stuff like, oh my God. You don't know how to get in there. <laughs> Here's just like the whole door. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Ethan's wedding is so exciting for me because he's the first of my four sons to get married. I just wanted to go over a couple points with you of things that we have to get done. I love party planning. I've never hired a party planner. I've always done everything myself. Invitations need to be sent. I still have to order the linens. I decided I'm not going to do boutonnieres for anybody except you. Lena has given me full reign. I am planning everything from the welcome dinner to the brunch to the wedding. Lena doesn't have to do anything else. She has to do is show up. Is this it? This is it? The shoes. Yeah. All right. So this is the space. So you're bringing like tables, chairs. Yeah, it's gonna change a little bit. Yeah, you like put like Ohio State up. Does the game open? Yeah. It does. It does. Can we dust it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, mm. I think Lena is gonna need a lot of help from me with the rehearsal dinner space because it is very raw, and you're gonna need a vision. That's where I can come in because her idea of an Ohio State party is what she remembers from college. I don't want you to walk in and have it be like beer pong, and it has to have some level of casual chic. It'll be you know fun. Buckeye attire. If this opens, we can now do a food truck. And then we could do the donut wall. Uh, can I hang things from the rafters? Yeah, I would love to hang like Buckeye. Um, and I can Buckeye necklaces for everybody. Like they walk in, they get necklaces. And I'd like to put them. Do it all, but I would like to do some of it myself. So it's my family. Like it's really important to me to make the rehearsal dinner of my own, especially something that's for my out of town guests or my family. So my friend actually he mentioned that he could DJ for us and he could like have them all set up over here. We got like a DJ going and you know, my, my family loves to dance, it'd be fun. You want to you're the biggest fan of the DJ. We figured it out. And it sometimes feels like it's my mom's big day. You know, it is Lena's wedding, and I mean, I just need to remember to think that Lena is the bride, and it's all about her. We'll do like Buckeye Donuts and Buckeyes for dessert. Yeah, we'll I like that. The, um, the glitter shots, please. I have no idea why he's telling us that this day is his woman's day, and then his mom needs to pipe down. Why are you telling us for? Shouldn't you be telling your mother that you? Ah! Telling us that doesn't do anything. You gotta tell your mother that. Let her know. Tell her right now and let your woman feel and know that she's more important than your mother when it comes to this wedding day. What a coward. P U S S Y. Mm hmm. Exactly what he is. Anyway, yeah. Mm hmm. Hmm. Let's proceed with this waste man. Yes, I'm not boy. I actually get like pretty jealous and upset usually when Ethan makes these comments. It's just like uncomfortable because he's my man, you know, and he's talking about how sexy Esther is, and it's just so weird. It's just it's weird. We'll be getting heavy. Okay, now, getting heavy. okay. Mom, Lena is a little upset that I'm giving my mom too much attention or being a little flirty. I don't think Lena's overreacting, but I think she's not seeing that it's us being very affectionate because we love each other. Who are you texting? My mommy. What? <laughs> Why are you texting your mom? I'm texting about you, Lena. Oh my god. I'm in a throuple over here. I see that. I see that. <laughs> Lena gets jealous. Some when he's hugging me or uses pet names with me, she's like, oh, why don't you call me that? His mother. Like, there should never be any jealousy. I can, like, picture us being up here giving a speech. Like, thank you all for coming. <laughs> Show box. You approve? We're good? I was just going to say that, um, first I thought, it's basic. <laughs> it's not special. But no, it is no. special. It's very special. It is. It is special. Yeah. I like it. Oh, my God. Yeah, yes. It's a pleasant surprise. Nestor's always the one who runs the show, but I still want to do some of the hard work and plan my wedding, and she needs to know her place. Ah, I'm gonna come in, I'm gonna come in! <laughs> that legit is the first time I've seen him actually cuddle his woman. I'm convinced that's the first time. I don't think I've seen him cuddle her any other time. And then in the last one, she was on coming in too, like, really? You, you really want to share your man with his mother like... Can we not just write off this couple, please? I, I don't want to see this couple on my screen, to be honest with you. I really don't. Just 
flat out dis disturbing, disgusting, you name it, revolting, everything. That's that's it. I've never seen such behavior between a, mom, a mother and a son. Something definitely has been happening. She definitely groomed him as a kid. Tell me otherwise. Mm -hmm. This boy definitely lost his virginity before he met his, met his girl, if you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. So I got cute snakes. So I got some of the little snacks. Brittany's first sleepover in this relationship means things are progressing. I'm a little rusty with this. It's been a while. But, you know, if you're in a relationship with me, the biggest thing I can give you is attention. And attention without my mom. I got roses. There's three others around. We'll, oh. to, we'll find them. Find okay. a scavenger. Okay. I know they're probably having a good time, but my husband planted a shrub right smack dab in the middle of my view. I can't see. I don't like it. What is that? What is it? It's like pink. Um, oh, she kissed me on the cheek. Okay. She's, yeah, she's that way. She's a hands-on mom. Tell me to get that off She's, she's a hands-on mom. Here. I've had Matt the last couple of months. We've been doing a lot of stuff together. I love it. And I do want him to find a girl, but that means less time for me. Oh, how cute. Oh. So I got you got s'mores? We got s'mores. How nice. We're set. Oh, I love it. I like to catch on fire for a while. So clearly, Mom and Brittany meeting segues us into this new era of romance. It's the starting of a new relationship, and that's exciting. I'm glad everything went okay with Mom. You know, I don't want her to... I mean, how is it? I mean, you have lipstick on your face. Besides that. Um, I've never had a mom give me a full-on questionnaire. Did she like me? Yeah, she, she does. Yeah, I think she's just pretty protective. I don't really have much insight yet as to what my mom's really thinking about Brittany. Thank you. If my mom genuinely doesn't like her, if my mom has, you know, too many red flags with her, I just don't know yet. I think they haven't had enough time. Hold on to me, Rose. <laughs> so cute. I know it's weird, probably, that I live on the same property, we're doing the same stuff, but, like, what do you, how are you feeling? I mean, I don't hear her right now. I don't, I don't see her. It's your house. As long as she doesn't, like, wake us up and come exactly. knock on your door. Exactly. And eventually you'd want to move away, right? Yeah. I mean, at some point, it's definitely an option. But I want you to know, like, if you feel like she's being too much or if she is rude, you know, just talk to me about it. I'll be in your corner. I've got you. It's okay. It's good to know you'll be in your corner. Yeah, don't worry. I got you. Okay. No matter what happens with Brittany and I, I feel like I'm actually growing a little bit here. Like, I'm setting some boundaries with my mom so that I can be in a successful relationship. Oh, how cute. Another rose. I love it. Thank you. <laughs> Are you exchanging? Matt is full of BS because in the first episode that we saw him and his mother, he blatantly said that if his mom doesn't like his woman, then he's not going to get with her. So I don't know why he's telling all this BS because the fact is, if mom ends up saying, no, I don't like her, he's going to bounce. This guy giving the poor, giving Britney poor uh, false hope that everything's going to be all right. Don't worry about a thing because everything it's gonna be all right yeah right <laughs> it's gonna be as all right as my singing <laughs> anyway if you're new to the channel you're enjoying the show make sure you hit the subscribe button yeah don't forget to hit the subscribe button like the video everybody come on now let's get it <laughs> the color shirts that we got are we just gonna do white on them hey, hey. hey. what's going on don't be mad are you exchanging i want to look for something else Oh, wow. I'm stopping by the boutique to return the gift that Abby gave me. Abby annoyed me. I don't need to back off from my son, and I don't need her to tell me what to wear. Uh, hey, give me a gift certificate. Let me come in now and, you know, <laughs> let me pick my own thing out, you know. You can't return it because it's a gift from me. I think it's going to be too long. It's too too young, too creepy. Too... This is cute. I, I like it. I, I really do. But I'm older. You're younger. Y'all okay. got, that... got something my age. I feel like Lorinda returning her gift is basically punishment for me asking her to back off. Do you like that? Oh, or is too much? Let's go on. Okay. Girl. It's a v-neck and it's a crop top. Honey, that is, hey, if you want me in jail or something, hey. <laughs> I like it. It looks like it's more not real. Just I think it's not too. I mean, I thought that like, you really you know, like, okay. liked my style. That one just went way over there. If you don't like it, you're not going to wear it. So. You know, I'm working out, so hey, they say I'm You want to show the arms off. <laughs> okay. Well, they say, girl, you look like I got in my arms on it. Okay, you have to try them on. You got to come out and show us what they look like. Oh, yeah. Happy birthday. It's your birthday. It's your birthday. <laughs> Why is she returning my gift? I don't, I don't know. I thought she liked it. Would you pick that up? She just can't please her. She would never actually tell me that she was offended, but she would do something. Okay. 
Abby, I, I came. My arms is too flabby. No, that's cute. It's cute, Lorinda. Oh, is it? You look just like Michelle Obama. You look Do good, I? girl. Oh, I'm right then, honey. Lorinda will act like she does not like coming in the store, but she really does because she loves trying on all the clothes and she has the best time. Oh, that's yeah. cute. That's really cute. Yes. But what I'm gonna do is to jeans on. You can wear it. Oh, out, girl. You can wear it on a hot date with Trey. Oh yeah, they be picking at us all the time. Oh, that looks good. Yeah. You know he likes shiny stuff. Put the jeans on with it. Honestly, I think that'll look good yeah. with it. You got it. The thing is, though, this is how your relationship is supposed to be with your with your mother-in-law. You know. It's a shame that this isn't this isn't how it is all the time. In fact, it's a shame that right now we're working and thinking, oh, they get along. But we know that at some point, hmm, shit is about to hit the fan. She might make me buy her more birthday presents. She loves that. I know. <laughs> oh, 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 honey, I, I, I want on a date. You That's are. cute. Ooh. 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 Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yes. Happy birthday to me. I'm gonna have to tell Trey to give me some money. <laughs> You're so needy. I was really happy when I picked out for myself with my own two eyes. Happy birthday to me. <laughs> you made the bodysuit and the jeans. She does. It looks so good. You never know, like, when she might pop up. I think it's annoying sometimes. Mm. Trey will like this. That's a reason for him to take you back again. Oh, I can't wait to show <laughs> I've been wanting to talk to Trey about just me and him spending more time together. He does not give me any attention. He's gotten so involved with his mom and the videos that there's no attention on me. You're going to look cute. You're no. not fit. Oh, I know it. Oh, oh, I know. She knows. Yeah. Bye. 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 Feel good. <laughs> you know, there is, this, there is this perception in life. That when people grow up around a female that is slim and good looking, and you're someone that may that that potentially isn't slim or isn't good looking allegedly in your own opinion or based on or, or based on what society tells you. You see, those people then think that people that are slim in shape and are good looking, they live this fantasy happy life with their partners and with the man that they would like to have, but as they haven't been said. But the reality is that just because somebody is slim and good looking, it doesn't necessarily mean that their life is happy as Larry and everything's a-okay. I say that because obviously that lady is something particularly here, you know, she's a good looking woman, you know what I mean? But as you can see though, she's having to deal with a mama's boy and clearly what she's going through with a mama's boy is peak. And also at the same time, I think people also have this perception that maybe people that are good looking maybe have more intercourse than people that are maybe not so much based on what society says. When in reality, you probably get more of a D from your man more than the woman that you think isn't, you know what I'm saying? Because a lot of people think that, oh, because she's amazing, he must be wanting to pipe her all the time. I mean, listen, this episode right here is evident that's not the case because my man has got a beautiful woman and he's instead of prioritizing piping her, <laughs> he's too busy prioritizing being mommy's little B I C T H. Like, really? You know what I mean? Meanwhile, you could be a woman who thinks that she's who thinks that she's not good looking, who thinks that she ain't all that, but yet you're in a relationship with a man who's always giving you that D, you know what I mean? But normally, most of the time from the back, what can I say? You know what I mean? But at the end of the day, look at the bright side. At least you're getting the D. Meanwhile, the one that you think is happening, living a heavy life, she ain't getting none. Ain't nothing but cobwebs down there. Meanwhile, yours is always wet and slipping and sliding. You know what I mean? Uh-huh. Yeah? Yeah? Too far? Too much? TMI? <laughs> anyway, anyway. Just thought I'd share that because, you know, I'm looking at that. It, it, it wasn't even that scene so in particular. It wasn't even necessarily that female that we were watching just there. It's just that when I look at some of these TV shows, we're looking at the, the, the family Chantel, when we're hearing about how Pedro wasn't, hadn't even touched Chantel's Panani for a good couple of months. I'm sitting there thinking, raw, why not? You know what I mean? And then you're looking at this situation anyway, where she's also complaining about the same thing about, I want some more alone time with my man. I'm thinking, why is he not giving her more? You know what I mean? And it just says to you guys, just because some people's life may look like as if they get it all, it clearly isn't why. It clearly isn't always necessarily the case. And that's what it is. There's a lot of beautiful people right now who are single in the world too. You know what I mean? They don't get too much. Just saying, put in perspective that uh, don't assume that somebody else is living a better life based on their appearance. Because in reality, you might be living a whole better life in many ways. But the main way we're talking about right now is that slipping and sliding, you know what I mean? <laughs> anyway, um, <clears throat> let's continue, please. You all better behave yourself. I do like your body, Yes. I need a, a bride one, though. 
Okay, let's go down here. So Maddie's one of my best friends. Um, she's a friend group that I call the Blondies. Maddie's a great person for me to talk to because she's someone a fresh eye to come in and kind of see everything that's going on. Where are you going? You know, Esther's doing literally everything. Like, I have no idea a lot of the stuff, but... What do you mean? I don't know. She has all the contracts. She has all the vendors. I'm a little worried about Esther's taste versus mine because I'm more of a, you know, boho, like, natural kind of thing, where she's more, like, glamour and, and glitter. Did you get at least any say in, like, the decorations, the theme? Um, no, she shows me pictures and I approve them. But are you really approving them? That's what I said. She sent me, like, three <laughs> options. But once again, like, I don't know the centerpieces. I don't know, like, what right. type of flowers I'm doing. It's, she's just doing it all. I do feel pretty left out of the wedding planning. At the same time, my mom isn't really involved in the wedding planning at all. She wishes she could be more, but Esther is taking it all over. And if you ask me what it's going to look like, I have no idea. So I'm going to walk in that day and be just as surprised as everybody else. We have to send out our invitations, but um, we're maxed out. Esther has more people than me. So I have like 75. Okay. Ethan has like 60. Esther has 80 people. So more than the bride. More than the bride. At this point, I'm not even going to know half the people at the wedding. I know Esther's paying for it, but it's still land on Ethan's day. I think they should have the final say on the guest list. But the rehearsal okay. dinner... Note to yourselves, maybe sometimes it's not worth having so-and-so's parents paying for the wedding. Because in reality, money means power to some people. And if someone's paying for your wedding, well, in their eyes, I'm in charge. And sadly, that is the situation that we are in. So, uh... Huh. Gotta figure a way around it. I wouldn't... I would not let Esther pay for my wedding, that's for sure, for sure. Unless I'm married, I start shame paying for the wedding. I mean, I'm not saying that I'd let her pay for it if I was married, but you get what I'm talking about, right? Okay, let's go. Yeah. All by myself. Okay. And you know, the Ohio State game is that Saturday. Yes. So I want to just like make it like a fun, like tailgating kind of thing. But like Esther's not really understanding that vibe that I'm trying to put down. Does she know who you are? Yeah. I don't think Esther's understanding the way I want it to be. I would say this is more of a casual affair, but she's, she hears that and she's like, that's crazy. It's not a, a frat party. Right. I think she wants it to be like another like sit down black tie, like soiree. I know Lena also likes things a certain way. So I can see why it would be hard to not have a ton of say in everything on your wedding day. But you're still the bride. It's still your big special day. Once in a lifetime. Yeah. So that's, we're going to have to get into that. You know, right. her. You really yeah. are. I mean, it's their day. They're going to do this one time in their life. And I think they might regret it if they don't get to have, you know, the day that they've always dreamed of. I'm just going to try and like let her know, like set the tone. You know, this is what's happening. This is an Ohio game. Yeah. Still my wedding. I Thank you. This day. Yeah. You got to like text me every day. Like, girl, this is your wedding. This is you what are you getting need to married. do. Remember this. So I do think I'm going to have a little conversation with Esther just because, I mean, I know she means well, but it is frustrating. She always finds a way to get what she wants and feel like we do establish some boundaries because clearly there are none. I think uh, it's going to be a great day. Aww, I do. Thanks. Maybe. What's her name? I want to see what she's like. Okay. What is her issue? What's her deal? Like, is she really just, you know, a freaking sleazy little woman? Yeah, with Jessica, she's just one of my closest friends, the only woman I can just dump all my relationship problems to, and she just gives me the best advice. Gosh, I gotta fill you in on so much stuff that's happened. You would think things would get better, yeah. but it just, she keeps, coming to it the just right. keeps going downhill. So I've known Emily for a couple years. I met her through Shakeep. Shakeep is good friends with my husband. I can tell she's going through some stuff, so it was nice to meet up here today and let her get a little bit of that frustration out. Oh, where so, do I, even I know. Where do I even start with this? So I'm ready. Tell me. Yeah, so like Layla actually sat down, we talked, you know, I apologized, Aww. you know, I really was genuine. It was a moment. Wow, that is a moment. That's a huge moment. Like, all I ever want is for Lila to accept me because that's yeah. the only freaking way for Shakeep to propose to me. He's not going to propose to me until Lila fully accepts me as her future daughter-in-law. Mm -hmm. And so she seemed to like, kind of like me, kind of accept okay. me. I mean, it all sounds good. Tell that's, me, not yeah. the, that's not the whole thing. Things have just turned out to be a complete disaster. Layla just, she kind of just games with me. I mean, now she's just setting Shakib up on a bunch of dates. Oh my gosh. While, you know, she knows I am here. She knows right. I've been with, him, with her son for four years. I was like, oh my gosh, Emily. This is not okay. Hell oh to the no, it's not okay. Like, Layla requested Shakib to go on a date, and he did. I mean, it's just wrong. Like, that was tough to hear, and I definitely don't think Emily deserves that kind of drama. I mean, I think she really does try to, you know, keep the peace with, you know, Lila, trying to make effort in that relationship. Yustra, that's her name. What a little bitch. Right, exactly. Does she not know that he's, right. he's, he's in a long-term relationship? Like, lives does she just, like, hop around, finding oh out a man that's taken? So do you think they've... She keep wants me to hang out with her. What the hell? Like, like right. what is this? No. Like, I think you should meet her. I think you weird. should meet her. No, but I'll show her, like, who you are. Yeah, it's like, it's like, strangle like, that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna start grabbing each other's hair. <laughs> definitely, you know, see what she's about, but put yourself out there. Let her know that you know what's going on. I think Emily should definitely meet this girl. You smell definitely can show her who she is, that she's in she keeps life, and hopefully there'll be some change. That's all I want to see for them is some change and some steps forward. I mean, 
this girl is never going to go away because she's a family friend. So that means they are going to meet at some point. So it does make sense to just meet right away and just get it over and done with rather than wait to further notice. So you know what though? I can definitely agree with this to, to a certain degree. You know what? Yeah, the hell of it. yeah meet her. But obviously let her know who, 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 who the woman in the house, who the woman is. Let her know who's married him. Or they're already married. I could care less now with these two. These two are morons anyway. <laughs> but yeah, let's continue. Should I, should I be a bitch to her? I mean, so you are going to kill her with kindness. Oh my you god, are going Jessica, to be that's like... so boring. Uh, no, 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 but it's gonna work. Show her that he's yours and that there's no competition. Jessica is amazing at giving me advice. She wants me to stand up for myself and honestly, that's kind of what I want to hear. You know, Joe used to her that Shakib is taken, he's my man. I want to see what she's like. Hi. What is her issue? What's her deal? Like, is she really just, you know, a freaking sleazy little woman? Hey. Morning, how are you? Good, good. good. Oh, that's a guy. Yeah. I want to talk to you about a shrub that you planted. Yeah. Which one are you talking about? The evergreen shrub. It's a good place for it to go. Look good there. Matthew had Brittany over last night, and I couldn't see anything. My husband planted bush. It's not huge, but it still hinders my view of Matthew's front patio, his comings and goings, and I don't like it. I want the bush gone. It's always going to be there. So let's call somebody to get it out. Can we do this? I'm not calling anybody in there to take it out. So if you want to do that, you're going to have to do it yourself. And quite frankly, they need some privacy up there. You don't need to do that. That's crazy. I want it done. You're, you're on your own on this one. I got to get going anyway, so I don't want to tell you. My I think it's a mistake. That bush is going down. The way she gave her husband that dead look, though, this woman's got issues, serious issues. And why the hell he's still married to her, I have no idea. Yeah. And how dare she want to take the bush down? What? Mmm. I get, to be honest, the only bush she, she should be worrying about taking down is probably the bush in her pants because trust me, I tell you, that bush right there, it's been growing and growing and growing and growing because it ain't been touched in a very long time. Why? Because her attitude stinks and therefore there's no way in hell that attitude can ever turn on any man. Hey, maybe she's got some magic in the bedroom to manipulate the husband, I don't know. But nonetheless though, like I said before, I think that's the only bush she should be worried about, if you know what I mean. Yikes. <laughs> I have no re I have no issues with bushes. My issue is that when you're around someone who goes who's got an attitude that is ugly, no one wants to be around someone who's got an attitude that's ugly. So again, bush, bush or no bush, I don't really mind to be fair. As long as you're an amazing person, so good in the hood, you never know. Sometimes. Anyway, let's continue. <laughs> Sleepover with Brittany, I thought was successful. You know, we did the wine, we had the bonfire. We had a really great night. The morning's going great, you know. I wake up to go get Brittany coffee. Then I hear this noise. <laughs> good morning. Hope you guys had some good sleep. What are you doing? Mom? Hey, Mom. This tree is going down. Why? What? what because you... it's blocking my view. View of what? Of my Matthew house. and his comings and goings. It's a tiny tree. <laughs> I ripped the tree out with the ATV. Oh my god. Matt and I had such a great night last night, and it is really a bummer to wake up to Kelly quite literally ripping our morning apart. And it's she's insane. I cannot believe I'm waking up to this right now. Is she serious? Uh, yeah, she's serious. Maybe just leave it alone. She's just doing the most ridiculous things that she can do. I am extremely frustrated. Um, I don't know how much I can do. Mom. Mom! Why? It needed to go, Matt. It's just a little, a little rude. I, I just don't I, I, don't I feel like you rude. did it to... Antagonize her? Yeah, I was going to say marking territory, but that's a little better. If we don't get a handle on this, we're going to have a problem. Crazy. Well, I'm getting all right. Up. So. All right, see ya. Next time.
if if that wasn't too far, then what is? And that tree, one wasn't even that big, so it could, couldn't have been in the way. And two is wasn't that tree not hers? I'm sure sure that tree wasn't even a part of her garden. My brain cells hurt. They hurt a lot. Is this what we're watching now? <laughs> you know what? We'll leave it there. She's gone way too far. We'll leave it there. I look forward to what you, what you lovely folks have got to say in the comment section and we'll talk about it. You know what I mean? But nonetheless, though, like, subscribe and peace.